everyone, I am Minusha, I am 10 year old, I am the founder and CEO of Horses and Pastry. I thank Amul for giving me this opportunity and uh, this simple homemade recipes are happening from 17th April. I think I am the youngest member and today I am going to do uh, uh, two recipes with Amul products. Let's see what are the recipes. Pani cheese sandwich and coconut laddu. Let's see what are the Amul ingredients. Amul fresh cream, Amul paneer, Amul cheese slice, Amul uh, milk made and Amul butter. These are the Amul products. Now let's begin with paneer cheese sandwich. First I am turning the flame. Now I am keeping a khada. I'm keeping it in medium flame. Wait till the kadai hotens. Now it's nice and hot. Now I'm going to add some oil. Little bit of oil. And keep it aside. Wait till the oil hardens. Now the oil is little bit hot. Now I am putting uh, one finely chopped onions. And I am going to saute it. Meanwhile, we will prepare the tomato puree. For the tomato puree, you will need two finely chopped uh, tomato and one green chilli. 3 cloves and some ginger. I am going to blend them together. Let's blend it together. I am adding them in the mixing jar. Kids will not like ginger and garlic. So that uh, you should grind them and put it. I am grinding them now. Mix them well. Masalas. 
so we keep uh, turmeric powder red chili powder garam masala and fenugreek seeds and spices and salt now i am going to add the masalas first i am adding one one teaspoon of red chili powder one spoon of garam masala and half spoon of turmeric powder and little bit salt to taste we have to mix, mix them well chopped tomatoes and one green chilli and three cloves of garlic and uh, some ginger i am mixing them well again they are little bit liquidy so the time closing it with a lid Nice and thick. Wow, this is yummy. Wow. 
this is the excellent length yeah so you can uh, now we can add the paneer into it this is shallow fried amu paneer so now let's coat the paneer with masala you have to gently do it or else the paneer will break gently mix the paneer with the masala and coat them with the masala right now the masala is ready but there is one more ingredient which is fresh which which is fresh cream that is amul fresh cream it gives us uh, some nice flavor i'm going to add some little bit one spoon of amul fresh cream i love it it gives nice flavor and it gives that uh, that uh, creaminess to the masala Wow, this is nice and creamy right now, and I'm going to off the flame. Now our uh, masala is ready. Going to keep it aside. Now we are going to toast our bread so that I'm taking the pan again. I'm going to put some amul butter. I love amul butter. As I said, I like that uh, mascot, that amul girl, in that butter. Butter. So I'm adding a little bit of butter. Amul butter. Amul butter is very very tasty and tangy. I uh, I always use this amul butter at my home. Now keeping the breads you can also use uh whole wheat or white bread i am using whole wheat bread because it's healthy and adding some more butter so that the bread comes nice and tasty it's nice and brown i toasted it and i'm flipping it up Now I am going to put the masala on the flip bar, uh, bread. On one bread, put the masala, and nice. Now I am going to put the cheese in another bread. There is this amul sliced cheese. It's so nice. I love cheese a lot. Amul has. Uh, cube cheese also, but I'm today I'm using sliced cheese. Opening it, and here you go. I'm sorry. putting the cheese in the other bread and now i'm going to flip it the cheese is melting going to do another funny cheese sandwich so here we go we have a nice funny cheese sandwich i'm going to do uh, the plating now 
So for the plating, I'm just uh, putting this hot paneer right there, a little bit, and uh, cheese. One cheese and uh, tomato sauce. Cheese and tomato sauce. One cheese right there and this is the next we are going to put some sauce a little bit um, and I'm going to take it away with the spoon. So our honey cheese sandwich is ready. I uh, kids love it because there's paneer and cheese. They that is their favorite and it's my favorite also. Now we are going to move on to coconut ladoo. For coconut ladoo, we should use dry coconut, but uh, dry grated coconut, but. Uh, because of this lockdown, I didn't get dry grated coconut. So I, I used one fresh coconut and cut them into pieces, small pieces, and uh, take off their uh, skin and grinded them in the mixy jar. And I got this nice fine powder like uh, thing. And then I fried it in my pan. Then I got the uh, nice uh, dry sh shredded coconut. So I split them into two. One is for making the laddu and another is for uh, rolling the laddu into the coconut. First, I'm going to put half cup of dry uh, grated coconut. So, there you go. Next is uh, one spoon of milk powder. And mix it well. You have to mix the uh, milk powder and uh, dry coconut well. Mix it well. Now our main ingredient which is milk made, almond milk made, uh, sorry, condensed milk. I love it a lot. It's called milk mithai. It's nice. I'm going to add two spoons. One. Thinks it's enough. Going to mix it with spoon, then with that, then by hand. Mix it with spoon nice, nicely. It's nice. It's good. Now I'm going to mix it with uh, hand. Form a dough. so so soft now I have formed the dough now I am going to give them ball shape give, give them a nice blood ball shape wow this is amazing I'm going to keep them in the plate You can also roll uh, a big, big ladu. I love small ladus. Um, also 
go is going to make it finished. And yeah, we have just two of them. I used Amul's uh, condensed milk. It called it is called milk. Uh, I used Amul condensed milk. It is called Mithai Malke. I rolled them nice in ladu size. Now I am going to coat them with the coconut. Half of the coconut. First I said no I kept. So I am going to coat them with coconut. Wow this is nice right. I am going to coat everything with coconut. So that is nice and mushy. This laddu is amazing. Looks so so amazing. We'll finish it. Just mix everything then. Wow, it looks gorgeous. It looks so so gorgeous. I'm going to do it the last ball. So for topping we are going to use badam or almonds. And here we go. A little bit of almond on top. It looks so nice and you can also put some pistachios or uh, dry fruits. This is so tiny. I'm repeating the uh, I'm repeating the recipe again. So uh, first I took a fresh coconut and cut them into pieces and took off their skin and grinded them and I got nice fine powder. I uh, shadow fried them in the pan and I got nice dry coconut. Then uh, so uh, I uh, transferred them into the bowl and added 1 teaspoon milk powder into it and uh, 2 spoons condensed milk into it and mix it well and form the dough and roll it into ladu shape and roll them into the remaining coconut and uh, for decoration I put the badams. So this is the recipe of coconut laddu and panichi sandwich. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I once again thank Amul for giving me this opportunity and um, with this I am ending bye from Vinusha MK. Thank you.